on lines up lines up too. Military grade plasma artillery cannons is en route to Talon 4. The Agonoid Star, Star Marines we acquired. Uh, the Agonoid Star Marines we acquired them from were letting them sit in, the, in a warehouse. Our elite pirates, on the other hand, will be put them to good, good use very soon. Incredibly strong, armored, and well armed. Weak pirates are potent forces. Their energy siphoning system absorbs beam weapon shots. The nature of the system makes them vulnerable to concussive based weapons. Well armed, elite pirates is an effective close combat and, and at a distance. Their massive size can be a weakness, and their sluggish speed allows for evasion. Siphoning system to augment performance, avoid beam weapon fire away. Troopers, same thing except with ice. This game shoves more than one of the same type at you. Uh, 
Please on nutrient vet elite pirate ra ration processing and process. Investigations to a possible ingress point for the impact crater continue to meet with failure. The shield of strange energy that protects it is in, in, impermeable. <laughs> ah, jeez. Anyways, and all attempts to tunnel past it have proven fruitless. Our continued futility in this matter is made all the more significant in the light of the recent life form readings we've discovered emanating from deep within the crater. Analysis of the readings indicate that a massive creature is gestating there, absorbing enormous amounts of phazon from the phazon core at the heart heart of the impact crater. This discovery makes accessing the crater doubly important. Not only will it open the door to a vast deposit of phase on within, but also lead us to this cre to this creature, whatever it may be. Recording to logbook. Security command issued an all points alert after the fall of Zebus. The alert concerns Bob form Samus Aaron, also known as the Hunter. Subject that is a female hominid and is heavily armed and extremely dangerous. Subject uses a powered armor suit of unknown design in battle, along with a number of potent beam and concussive weapons. All combat units are instructed to terminate Aaron on sight, preferably in a fashion that will allow salvage of her powered armor suit and weapons. A considerable bounty will go to the unit to deliver Aaron to command. Dead or alive, it matters not. Consumption of elite nutrients makes it non-elite units is strictly prohibited. Failure to comply will result in 50% cycle reduction for a deca cycle. Security level ta will be in effect until further notice. All leaves cancelled pending downgrade of alert status. That form Samus Aaron continues to assault our holdings on Talon 4. Security has been compromised in multiple areas. Casualty rates are rising. Command has authorized a sizable bounty for the capture or termination of Aaron. Report to your field officers for details. Recording to logbook. Science team is attempting to reverse engineer Samus Aaron's arsenal based off of data acquired from her assaults on our forces. Progress is slow but steady. Command would dearly enjoy turning Aaron's weapons against her. We believe we can implement beam weapon prototypes in three cycles. Aaron's power suit technology remains a mystery, especially the curious morph ball function. All attempts at duplicating it have ended in disaster. Force test subjects were horribly broken and twisted when they engaged our morph ball prototypes. Science team wisely decided to move on afterward. You know, I really like these logs simply because it gives the pirates some actual personality. Whereas if I believe... At least not in the Prime games, the pirates are described as they're completely worthless and no threat when Mother Brain isn't around. Which is extremely lame. Because in this game, they're all kinds of amusing. Well, in all Prime games, because there's lots of logs like that with them. Yeah, yeah, okay, I see. Is more or less telling me that that no you can't destroy that don't even try come back later I, mean, I already know it destroys it but yeah a lot of stuff for power bombs I see evaluation of plasma artillery cannon is complete Weapons are fully functional, but a flaw has been discovered. Subpar thermal shielding gives them a high seat signature. This could make it easier for target to uh, to target for enemies with enhanced vision capabilities. Security alert: Computer systems compromised. Platform Samus Aaron has cracked our systems. The hunter can access our system at will and is able to bypass most of our security programs. Use manual locking systems when possible. Facility commands. Request for elite pirate transfer to security forces granted. Prepare units EPG-8644 and EPG-8656 for field duty at once. Metroid aggression levels are rising. Be alert for any attempts on Metroids to escape from their quarantine areas. Their en energy absorption ability is not able to disrupt their force fields, but continued exposure to phage on May we change things for the worse. Reports on hunter activity are in. Analysis indicated that the hunter is using morph ball technology to infiltrate our facilities. Recalibrate sensors to search for morph ball energy signals. Oh, so much up here. Recording 
We have come to another dead end. It is clear now that we will never discover the location of the Chozo's artifacts until we can decipher the messages carved into the statues in this abominable temple. Our language databases are woefully inadequate, and our linguistic analysts can, all, can come up with little more than vague theories. The best hypothesis that we can offer is that finding the artifacts will require items spiritually linked to the Chozo civilization. However, without these items, we are lost, and command grows more impatient by the day. Results must be produced soon. Force field offline. Reconfiguration of security drones authorized. Deploy new drones to mission critical areas immediately. Security requests for deployment of elite pirates in Metroid quarantine areas. High casualties suffered by standard pirate units deployed in Metroid areas is not acceptable. Fusion infused fungal harvesting continues. Replacement of Deca tr uh, Triticale with phazon infused fungal matter in elite ration mix has been authorized. Recording to logbook. Although we are still no closer to finding the artifacts of the Chozo, we have at least produced a viable hypothesis for their function. It appears that each of the artifacts corresponds to one of the statues on the temple platform, and that each one acts like a small key to a huge lock. Judging by the number of statues, we assume there must be 12 artifacts. Once we find the resting spots of all 12, we can bring them here, unite them with their statues, and open the gate system at long last. Once we do, the impact crater and whatever creature it shelters will be ours for the taking. Recording to the logbook. Results are in from the field studies from on the bioform group Chozo, who we believe are extinct. We believe that Talon 4 was once a str stronghold on the Great Chozo Empire, brought low by a meteor strike. Planetary devastation brought, by, brought an end to the Chozo, yet remnants of their society remain. We are studying these relics in an attempt to harness their power. What is of no use to us, we destroy. In time, we shall have what we need from the dead race and shall wipe this planet clean of their ugly ruins. The dead should serve the living, not hinder them. Recording to the logbook. There have been numerous incidents involving spectral entities in the Chozo ruin sites. Several personnel have been assaulted by these Chozo ghosts. Few have survived. Survivors speak of swift attacks from nowhere, brief sightings of the enemy, then nothing, only to be followed by another attack. Science teams believe these attacks are in response to our efforts to recover the Chozo relics and artifacts. Somehow these entities are able to interact with the physical world, and it appears they wish to keep their artifacts to themselves. We will make them pay for such arrogance, even if the, for even ghosts can be destroyed. For any signs of ration rejection by elites at once. Increased phase on por portion of elite pirate ration by 18%. Recording to the logbook. Analysis continues on these cursed ruins in the Chozo temple that ho hovers near them. We are now completely certain that the containment field is denying us access to the impact craters linked to the strange artifacts that belong in the temple. But we are no closer to finding them or deciphering the riddles that seem to recover every wall of this ruined place. Command grows increasingly anxious for a resolution in this matter, so we must redouble our efforts. X-ray squadrons will begin terrain sweeps within days. Until they begin, patrols are instructed to report any and all archaeocultural anomalies to their commanders. Planetary stealth technology is back online. We evade detection by the bow cruiser Emmons, and the brief lapse of planetary security caused by the crash of our frigate is over. Now we can concentrate on our efforts on the Hunter. Replacement standard hatch covers continues. Steel covers will uh, be replaced with cordite and bendesium covers in two deca cycles. Whew. Grail system access for Metroids are not responding to synthetic substance. They have reason to believe that they only gain nourishment from active bioenergy sources. Check it out real quick. Okay, it looks like it was mostly just a. Ah! Please! I'm way down here. Yeah, it looks like it 
looks like they're running like a tunnel uh, for it being a tunnel. There's pirates around here, so I might have just... Oh. Hi. Oh, if you double tap it, it'll automatically go back to power. That's nice. Very nice. I mean, you can't cycle between them, but it's nice to know. Even if it was by a complete accident. to get out of those two. Very, very nice. That's good shit to know. Metroids from initial batch have matured to hunter phase. Be advised that the hunter Metroid has a siphon tentacle and can attack with it from a distance, as opposed to the close combat tactic used by the younger Metroids. Increasing aggression levels absorbed in the latest Elite Pirate units, increasing phase on feed by 0.7%, 0.07% for science team. Metroid activity is accelerating in non frigid areas. Destination Elite Pirate. Uh, EPG 8702. It, yeah, it's pretty obvious these are going to open at some point. Available troopers report to the Mine Security Command. Recon teams are searching for the Hunter's gunship. Science team believes it employs a sophisticated cloaking device beyond our capabilities. Aside from dumb luck, we may never discover its location. We must contain or eliminate Aaron. Failure to comply with command decree is not an option. Security breaches in multiple areas. Unauthorized uses of re resources continues. Patterns suggest these resources are being stolen by the Hunter. Increase the monitoring of all resource facilities immediately. Spindesium wall. It seems accepting volunteers for advanced weapon training. So I can't get through there yet. Man, there's so many power bomb things I'm gonna have to remember. So many. Grab all your aerial units immediately. Flight pattern Sigma 4 in its effect. Increase bomb patrols in authorized areas. Test results from battle simulation Samus Aaron are promising. Elite unit reports a 74% success ratio against Aaron in testing. I command is pleased, but expects a higher ratio by the product's end. Death to the hunter, death to all who oppose us. Our enemies will tremble before the might of our elite forces. Unauthorized Metroid feeding is strictly prohibited. Recorded to logbook. Elite pirate uh, upsilions 
propensity for Phazon has enabled our research team to infuse it far beyond the safety rate restrictions, and the results have been extremely encouraging. Its constant Phazon diet has increased its mass exponentially, but has retained all mental facilities and shows dexterity with all elite weaponry, including plasma incinerary launchers and chameleon manta issue for cloaking purposes. Elite pirate Upsilion Epsilon, or yeah, Epsilon probably, exhibits miraculous healing abilities. When injured, it seeks out Phazon deposits and coats itself in a substance, which instantly mends the creature's wounds. The subject, which we are codenaming Omega Pirate, based on these developments, shows potential to be a new standard for our armies. Our only concern at this point is its uh, potential overdependence on Phazon. Yeah, that's the boss I was thinking of. <laughs> I remember Omega Pirate. C5446BA, uh, modified for pirate storage. I know what that is, I remember that. Based on processing and security systems are taxing the dynamo beyond safety tolerances. So the uh, conversion to the geothermal power is easing the drain on our systems is not enough. Further power use at current levels could lead to system failure. Dynamo maintenance team is not responding to service call, rerouting requests to certain center command. Entire shaft of dynamo workers have been transferred to the following bouts on the phase on madness. Units have reported to science team for use in laboratory studies for the new elite pirate program. Their dementia will make them adequate training adversaries for the elite team. The keeping of pets has been suspended until further notice. Domestic beasts have been deemed extremely highly susceptible to phase on madness and are therefore a hazard to personnel. All Grand Cats and all Habs must be disposed of immediately. Failure to comply will result in a loss of pay for a cycle and reduced rations. Let's 
destroy truffle materials. We have three of them. Either way, it was fine actually. Let's go the way that's not blocked off first. Thought so. Survive that! Ah, fuck. Nope, not wrong one. Turn these things off! Ah. Jeez. Uh, crypto tank failure, bioform, life signs are flatline. Disengage Metroid containment breach will be breached. Security now taking volunteers for hunting parties. Target is known as Bioform Lux Samus Aaron, also known as the Hunter. Suspension of synthetic Metroid rations has been ordered. Synthetic Metroid rations is to be replaced by live bioenergy sources on 12 point. Yeah. Fusion of phase on the local fungi is progressing. This program has produced a cheap, viable ration for many of our uh, talent enhanced units on Talent 4. Uh, mass produ production of program has been authorized. Studies indicate the decreased aggression between elite pirates and irradiated, metro irradiated metroids. Science team believes that the infusion of phageon in these units may be, may be form a type of sy symbiosis between them. Further studies are underway. Fungal invigoration fluids pro uh, proce processing levels normal. Science team reminds all personnel for, to refrain from antagonizing Metroids. Severe penalties will be enforced for all violations of this order. So that has increased of uh, for, of four hundred percent indicated from the Phase on down there, we don't want to touch that shit. Ah. Get over 
there yet? Just not sure. Powerball. I'm gonna get more of those. I need those to actually make some progress. Um, oh, rail. Wait, no, that's not a rail. I'm not sure if I can go this way yet. Touching phase on hurts. It's like lava. I just wonder why it was suddenly egg me to go in this direction. Okay, yeah, I can. Or can I? No, I definitely can't jump that high. Okay, it doesn't hurt that much. Once again, I might be remembering stuff from hard mode. So I remember things getting a lot harder than this. Or I'm thinking of the sequel. The sequel's fairly difficult. Anything there? Okay. I don't know why I can do anything down here yet. Get me across there, but I guess I'm leaving. I mean, power bombs does open up a lot more for me to do. I don't remember where the shit is, but you know. Can I actually get back up? If I can't, then that means that's the way I do have to go, and I'm just being blind and not seeing where I'm, what I'm supposed to do. Which is very, very, very possible. It tends to happen. <laughs> 